everybody! Today's video is going to be my June favorites. 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 Hey everybody! Today's video is going to be my June favorites and I have a little bit of makeup, a little bit of hair, and also some skincare and body products. So I'm going to do the makeup first since I believe that is mostly what people like to see. So I'm just going to jump right into it. The first thing that I have been loving, I've been using for about three months now, is the NYX BB Cream and mine is in the color 02 Natural. I absolutely love this BB Cream. I really liked the Garnier one for a long time, probably about a year, and then when I tried this one, I I didn't have my hopes too high just because I tend to be disappointed in new products when I try them, especially face products. But when I tried this, I actually loved it more than the other one that I was using. Now this has pretty good coverage for a BB cream. It doesn't get too greasy throughout the day and it stays on my skin really nice and I believe that it matches really nice also. So if you are in the market for a new BB cream, I would definitely check this one out. Another NYX product that I have is this Dewy Finish Setting Spray, and I do get oily in my T-zone, but I find that this doesn't make me look any more or any less oily. It basically just sets my makeup and also just gives it a nice finish so it looks like it is not too powdery since I do use quite a bit of powder products. So I definitely have been loving this, and I would recommend it to just about anybody. I have tried the matte version and just don't like it as much. I find that the sprayer on this one is a lot nicer than the matte finish one. The matte finish one feels like it comes out really fast and hard, and this one is just a light mist. My last NYX product, I have this eyebrow cake powder, and mine is in the color Blonde. I've been using this off and on for probably a year and a half or so, and I do like it a lot. What I do is I take, whoop, right there, I take this wax on an angled brush, and then I go into the Yep, that's the lighter color. I go into the lighter color right after. So I basically prime my brush with the wax first, just so the bristles are nice and lined up. And then I go in with this powder right after on the exact same brush. And then I put it on my eyebrows, and I put it on the tail part of my eyebrows. And the product that I like to put on the front part of my eyebrows is this Revlon Brow Fantasy. It comes with the pencil side and then a gel side. And these two combined I absolutely love. I feel like when I use just the pencil, it doesn't give me a very good line for the tail part of my eyebrows. So when I use these together, I absolutely love the way that it turns out. And I did forget to mention this is in the color Dark Blonde. I've been using the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette for quite a long time now. I think I got it right when it came out and I use it for an everyday look and I honestly use this way more than all the other Naked palettes. I know a lot of people have said that they don't like this palette but it is my favorite. Obviously it's in my favorites and what I do is I like to put Foxy for my brow bone color and then I will put Venus for my inner corner highlight. And then for my lid, I use the W.O.S. And then I go in with Faint. Sorry, I don't have my glass on so I can't see. Faint on the outer V. And then I like to blend everything out with Naked 2. I hardly ever touch into this black color. It is called Crave. I think it would be a nice black, but I just have the Urban Decay Perversion that I really like for a black eyeshadow. So I would use this, but since I like that one so much, I just use that one. And I have been using this MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Soft and Gentle probably for five years, maybe even longer. It's a great highlight. It is golden toned, so I know not too many people would like it. I've also heard of people complain that the flecks are too large. I'll just do a quick swatch right there. And you can definitely pack this on with your finger, like go ahead and put it on. But what I like to do is go in just with this fan brush right here. I just lightly do this. I tap most of it off just because it does have quite a bit of shimmer for a highlight in it. And I just dust it just right here. And sometimes I will just connect it with my brow bone highlight. And I do like that it is golden toned. That is my favorite sort of highlight to use. So I would recommend this if you are into golden toned highlighters. And the last makeup product I have is a Jordana blush and it is in the color Rose Silk. I did not know that my local Kmart actually had Jordana products and I was really happy when I saw it. And it was, I think, three or four dollars. It was no more than five dollars. It is a little bit sheer. It takes quite a bit if you really want to pack on the color. But it is a super pretty pink. It's definitely buildable so you can do quite a few layers of it and you will have a more... I guess more of an impact on your cheeks and I would describe this color obviously as a rose since it is called rose silk but it also has sort of a mauve undertone which I also love in makeup products. 
And I'm going to do the skincare products first just because I am a licensed cosmetologist so I don't have any drugstore hair products. So if you're not into high-end hair products, you can go ahead and skip right after this. But the first thing I have is a mask and this is the Freeman Facial Anti-Stress Mask in the Dead Sea Minerals. This mask is really cool and you can kind of see probably on the lid there where I have crusted nasty. That is the color that the face mask is and it does feel pretty tight since it is more of a clay type mask but what I like about it is it smells really good. It doesn't burn my skin. It can take a little bit of time to take off but if you just use a washcloth it will probably work better. I just go ahead and just use my fingers to take it off. If you were to use a washcloth, I'm sure it would come off much easier. But I like what this does to my skin. It makes it feel really clean. I feel less oily after I use this. So I would definitely recommend this, especially for the price. I think it was only 3 or $4 at my local Walmart. And the next three and the last three skin products I have are all self tanners. And these two go hand in hand. These are the Jergens Natural Glow. And this one's for the face and then this one is for the body. This is the Firming Daily Moisturizer. And mine is in the color medium to tan. And then this is just the face one. And this one is in medium to tan also. I really like both of these. I don't think either of them have a super strong self tanner scent. This one, it says something about oh, great color without odor. And I definitely think that it has some sort of a self tanner scent. But it's nothing crazy like the original versions. Or the other self tanner I'm going to talk about in just a minute. But I really do like these. I've used a Clarisonic so it's almost dumb of me to use this but I like what it does to my skin not necessarily that it keeps my face looking tan but it just feels nice on my skin and is pretty moisturizing and then this I don't find even though that it is firming it doesn't feel too tight and it's definitely moisturizing also and you can find these at Walmart for a decent price I think they're both under $10 and the last self tanner or skin product I have is by Banana Boat and this is in the Summer Color Self Tanning Lotion Deep Dark Color. And this is a self adjusting color for a natural looking tan and it says that it is streak free. I find that it can streak by my feet and ankles or any place like elbows, things like that. But what I just do is put another moisturizer on those areas so that it doesn't cling to my dry patches. I've been using this off and on for a few years and I always seem to go back to it. My sister actually reminded me about this product because I saw her a few days ago and she mentioned that that's what she had been using so I noticed that I still had it at the house so I used it a few days ago and I also used it today I'm not sure if you can tell I'm actually pretty pale so yeah I used it today and I don't go on tanning beds anymore it's been over two years since I have done this so I've been really dappling in the self tanner world and I haven't really tried any higher end and I find that I'm disappointed a lot of the time when I do try different drugstore ones. So this is one that I definitely would recommend and I like a lot. It doesn't turn me really orange or I hope I'm not coming off orange on the camera. But I know that this probably could be a problem for certain skin types. I have sort of an olivey undertone and it doesn't have a green undertone or anything. If you look here, it's literally just a brown color. So you definitely want to be aware of that if you give this a try. But I believe it's only eight or nine dollars at Walmart or any other drugstore. It'd probably be around ten dollars or less. So if you are in the market for a new self tanner that is fairly priced, then I would definitely check this one out. Now moving on to hair care and like I said these are all professional products. You can actually get this product at Sally's and this is the Clairol Shimmer Lights. And this is for blonde and silver hair. And it's a color enhancing shampoo brightens and refreshes blonde highlighted and silver hair. And the one thing I will say negative about it is it does dry out your hair but it definitely works really well to brighten your hair. You have to be careful though. I would definitely just use it as a regular shampoo the first time you use it if you do try it because it does tend to turn my hair too gray if I even leave it on for over a minute. So I just like to use this as a regular shampoo just to sort of brighten my blonde and I absolutely love this. And I do have a video on blonde shampoos and conditioners that are toning shampoos and conditioners. So if you want to hear more about this product, then you can go ahead and check that video out. And this next product I also had in that video, and I'm not going to talk too much on it, but this is the Redken Blonde Idol Custom Tone, and this is in the color Violet. What I really like about this is where the you see the white, this is a conditioner, and then where you see the purple, this is the toning conditioner in it. And this is a really cool product. When you take the lid off, it goes from one week all the way to six weeks. So wherever you have your dial on, for one week it definitely kicks out more of the conditioner and then you kind of twist it and then it kicks out more of the purple toning part of it. Since 
the more time that you has gone by since you've gotten your hair done, you definitely need to have more toned hair. Woo. Okay, so this does smell really nice, and I think it really does condition my hair. But you do have to be careful with this, just like the shimmer lights. It can turn your hair sort of a purpley, blue, gray tone, so you want to be careful with this. But I've never had a huge problem with this, only if I don't rinse it well enough, which actually happened to me today. And I had to go back in it, sort of stain my hair over here. And in that video that I was telling you about just a few minutes ago, if that happens, there is a solution, and I did mention it in the video. So you can go ahead and check that out if you are a blonde and looking into different toning shampoos or conditioners. This product is an absolute holy grail of mine. This is the KMS California Hair Play Makeover Spray and this is a dry shampoo or a texturizer and it is really powdery and really sticky in the hair so if you don't like too much texture in your hair I would not recommend this but I absolutely love this. It is a white powder so you have to be careful and I've talked about this so much I don't really want to say much more than that other than I absolutely love it. This is another product that I've mentioned quite a bit in my hair videos. This is the Healthy Sexy Hair Soy Touchable Hairspray. I've tried the other one in the Healthy Sexy line, it's the Soil Want Full Hair, and I did not like it at all, and the only reason I even tried that was because this was out of stock when I went to pick up hair supplies. This isn't too heavy of a hold at all, it is a fairly light hold. You can definitely brush through it pretty easily after you are done. It doesn't smell too strong, and I love this product also. This next product I know I've mentioned in a few videos, but since I don't blow dry my hair on camera too much, I just figured that I would throw it in this video. This is the Kenra Platinum Blow Dry Spray. This stuff is pretty expensive, but it definitely cuts down blow dry time. I wouldn't say in half, but pretty close to it for me anyway. And I like the smell of this. It works really nicely, and I just use this every time right before I blow dry my hair. And it definitely does wonders. I know there's a few other things out there. I know Paul Mitchell has one and Redken has one, but I'm just so scared to try something new and I would definitely recommend this one and if you have tried either the Paul Mitchell one I can't remember what that one's called and then I think the Redken one is a pillow proof one then let me know if you like those because I am so scared to try something other than this because this is definitely something that I have loved the past few years and just I'm afraid to try anything else. This is something that I purchased last year and have used off and on since. It's mostly a spring and summer hair product, I would say. And this is the Paul Mitchell Sun Shield Conditioning Spray. And as you can see, I'm almost out. It's like way down here already. And I just tried ordering it, I think last week or the week before it was out of stock. So I was really disappointed when my color box came from Paul Mitchell and this was not in it. So what I like about this, not only does it smell good, but it definitely conditions the hair since it is a conditioning spray so what I like to do is I either use it on damp hair after I've towel dried it right before I blow dry it and it works really nice for like a leave-in treatment or I will put it on my dry hair say I have flyaways that after I style my hair just won't lay down with just hairspray I will go ahead and just do a few squirts of this and it works great for that you can use too much of it and it will turn too oily if you're not careful but as long as you watch what you are doing I think that this is a great product to try and this is also you UV protection for your hair, which is sort of something newer. I haven't heard of many products that are like this, so I think this is an awesome product if you are outside a lot. This is by Kenra and this is from the Smooth line. This is the anti-frizz, frizz reducing oil. And I've been trying this out for a few months now and I can honestly say that I really do like this oil. I don't think it would replace Moroccan oil that I use or anything like that, but this is nice for an after styling oil to also get rid of frizzy, like frizziness around like the root area or on your ends if your ends just need smoothing. This, like I said with the other Kenra blow dry product, Kenra is pretty expensive even for myself to buy, but I would definitely recommend this. Like I said, I've been using it for a few months and this still is pretty full and I use it almost every single day. And the last product I have is by Pravana, and it's the Nevo Intense Therapy Leave-In Treatment. Now this is a full one, I have another one in my bathroom, but it's almost empty and I wanted you to really be able to see what this product looks like. On top it's almost like a lotion-y cream product and then there's a liquid product on the bottom. So when you shake it up, which I hope it shakes up good, you can see there it's nice and dispersed. and. This smells good and I say that about a lot of products because that is something huge to me. I don't like putting stuff in my hair or on my skin that does not smell good. But this also really conditions. 
I stopped using It's a 10 with keratin when I started using this and I've noticed a dramatic difference. With keratin you do have to be careful but I just find that this is much more moisturizing and helps with tangles even more than that one. So I put this in right after I put my hair out of its towel and before I comb it through and I use this and then my Moroccan oil and I find that the two work really well together. And this is a spray. So I'm going to go ahead and this might take a few times. I'm not sure you can maybe see that, but it's a really fine mist. And I also put this close to my roots since I do have breakage from going blonde. And I would recommend it to anybody. This is the travel size or the trial size. I'm going to get the bigger size once both of these bottles are done. So those are all my June favorites or the favorites that I have been liking the past few months. If you have any favorites that you recommend, leave them down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos. I always appreciate it. I hope you guys have an awesome day and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye guys!